Okay, now let's finish off the question and calculate the area of face AVB. Now I'm just going to just look at this quickly in Google SketchUp because there's some misconceptions that could arise. If we just rotate this round, okay, and we look at it like that, then we may be under the illusion. Let's so just take the view. Uh, I want to view parallel projection so it makes it easier for us to see what's going on. Um, if I can just get it, there we go. We could easily think that the height of this triangle here is 5 and the base is 6. But if we turn around and look at it, we can see that if we create this triangle here and then rotate that round, let's just uh, colour that in with something like that. Now let's just rotate it around and have a quick look. If we look at this this way on, we can see we've got this line going down here is our height of our triangle and you can see it better from possibly that angle. And you can see it's much longer than the height of the pyramid. So we're going to need to calculate the height of that triangle first, right, before we can work out the area of the whole triangle. So, but it shouldn't be too difficult because we know this length and we know this length which we worked out in an earlier question, VA. Um, so we can use a bit of Pythagoras to find that because we know that will be half of this. So let's go to um, the question. So here we go, there's the face and there's the face drawn out. We know from a previous question, I think it was this one, there we go, VAV is the square root of 43. So let's write that in. We know that VA is the square root of 43. Uh, we know because this is in the centre of the square that all of this is symmetrical, so this will be 43, because the distance for every corner to the centre will be the same. And we know that this side here is 3, and we know that this side here is 3. So we've got all our lengths that we know in the question. So we're going to have to use Pythagoras' theorem to help us do this question. Right, well, let's label our triangle. The longest side is always equal to C. And it doesn't matter which way we order the other two, right? Let's call this one A. And let's call this side here equal to B. So A we don't know which has been a bit different to the other questions we've done so far. So a squared plus b squared, which is 3 squared, equals c squared, which is square root of 43, all squared. Let's work that out. 3 squared is 9. Square root of 43 squared is just 43. So we now need to get the a squared on its own. So we're going to subtract the 9 from this side to get a squared on its own. And we subtract it from the other side to get 34. We must do it to both sides. So therefore a must equal the square root of 34. Okay. Actually, strictly speaking, a in this case could be plus or minus 34, but because we're dealing with lengths here, can't be negative. So therefore, it would be plus the square root of 34. Because we actually square minus root square the minus of root 34, we will get 34. Minus times the minus gives us a plus. But because we've got lengths which are all positive, we only deal with our positive answer. So now we're going to find the area of our triangle. And the area of a triangle is equal to the half times the base times the height. And that will equal a half times the base which is 6 times by the height which is square root of 34 so we have 3 times 
the square root of 34 because half of 6 is 3. So let's do that. 3 times the square root of 34 equals can't be cancelled down anymore. That's it. in third form as simple as it can get. But we can see it's 17.49, what have you, in decimals. So we want to round that to 2SF because the question has all been 2SF. Two significant figures gives you to 7. Look at the third. The third significant figure is less than 5, so we don't round up. So the answer will just be 17 to two significant figures. So let's write that in. So our area equals 17 to 2SF. Oops, written the 2 twice. Got carried away. Let's rub that out. And that will give us 17 metres as our units squared.